Hi there. This is part of a series of videos I'm making going over all of the new information that was revealed in the making of House of the Dragon book, which just came out. House of the Dragon Inside the Creation of a Targaryen Dynasty. And one of the things it revealed, by accident as it turns out, is that originally Bela Targaryen's dragon Moondancer was supposed to appear on screen at the end of Season 1. But it apparently got cut for time, just like Bela's big deleted scene with her grandmother Rhaenys, which they screened at a convention in December. And it's not a huge scene, but it's you know a minute or two, but this is the most character development she got all season. And was cut for time. Now, I don't blame them for that because Ryan Condal explained what happened. He said, international markets like putting commercials into the episodes, even on a premiere thing like HBO, that they don't have commercials. And normally that doesn't affect things, but because the finale is expected to have high ratings, they insisted on a time limit for the finale so they could put commercials in overseas. And Condal was really angry about this with HBO, that the time to tell me this was not after we filmed all of these scenes. It was when I was writing them, that we already made all of this, so all this stuff is now deleted scenes. So it's not just that Bela had scenes that were deleted. You know, Rhaenyra had deleted scenes. Daemon had important deleted scenes from the finale. But this was Bela's only big scene here. That in her deleted scene with her grandmother, she says, I am a dragon rider like my father and my mother before me. I want to be part of this war I can fight. Well, apparently after that, we'd have seen her going to the stables or something or checking in on Moondancer. Now, I don't know if they filmed this, and even if they did, it would just be her walking up or looking at a hill that, where they would add in the dragon later or something. You know, CGI is one of the last things they actually put in, so they, they might never have animated this. And the book says it, it was supposed to briefly appear, I mean, Dreamfire and Moondancer only briefly appear on screen in Season 1, and out of focus in the distance blurry so they can introduce them fully next season in better detail. So this isn't, you know, a huge loss that we're going to see more of Moondancer next season, that if you worry that they're not using her enough, well, they're pacing it, that they're setting up that she does important things with it, but later on. And Rhaenys and everyone else are not unreasonable for saying, no, she can't use Moondancer. It's, Moondancer is really young, and, and she's still this small juvenile. Moondancer is smaller than Arax. Okay, when you saw just how small he was compared to the other ones, much as Vagar. Moondancer can't even fly long distances yet. They said she just started riding Moondancer around the courtyard and around the island. That it's young enough, I don't think it can even fly from Dragonstone to the mainland. That it's really young, and they say, the book says that because she's a relatively lightweight, you know, girl, as opposed to this big six-foot man wearing full plate armor, it can barely carry her lightweight. It could not hope to carry an adult man in full armor. When the war starts, it grows month by month. And in the background, you'll hear that... Uh, my hope is, as the show goes on, you'll see her training with Moondancer, gradually getting better at flying, patrolling the coast of, of Dragonstone, at least. But it's young. They're setting it up for later as it grows. But far more important to me, and the real focus of this video, far more important than just does it appear on screen, because there was a miscommunication and they told the book author of the behind-the-scenes book that it appears on screen, they accidentally printed the concept artist describing the design of Moondancer, which we haven't seen yet. So there isn't concept art for it, but there's a good paragraph where they explain the thought that went into Moondancer's design. So this officially leaked out. So this isn't a huge leak, but it's a real leak. It's not like one of those videos where, yet again, we're going, huge leak, casting rumor, and it's not real. But this is a confirmed leak. It was in the book. They accidentally let it slip. That Moondancer is officially supposed to be one of the most interesting dragon designs in the series. 
So even though Bela didn't get to have her dragon on screen in season one, this is going to be one of the showcase dragons of the entire series. Uh, let me give some context here as they explain that, that, quote, as the design process continued, the concept artists found themselves going to great lengths to create unique creatures that could still pass as Drogon's evolutionary ancestors. And now here's a quote from the concept artist Constantine Cerceris. He said, They had to evolve into Drogon. They couldn't be that different. And there are only so many versions you can do of that same dragon. We felt the pressure of, are they looking for the same dragon over and over with just a different color palette? We wanted to make each dragon look like what the book had described, and at the same time we wanted to make it fresh and unique. That was a problem going into the show. They said that the original show, all three dragons were the same template. The Drogon's brothers are the same CGI model, just 20% smaller. And slightly different colors, but then they muted the colors, so even though he's black, Vizirion is cream white, and Rhaegal is green, it's like a dirty white and a dark green. George R. R. Martin himself has said they look like practically the same color and they're the same design. And they have different personalities in the books, too. But all of this was lost. So you've seen this in, in articles. Martin said one of his big directives for this series is make each of the dragons distinct. Now, there's only so far you can go off of the base template. They said we used Drogon as the base template and then varied from that. So there's three different breeds of dragon that Caraxes and Vermax are a different breed. Cyrax is a different breed. But Sea Smoke is the same breed as Drogon, that T-Rex head. And even then they tried to vary it up. Like, Vagar is that breed, but her she's differentiated because she's so old. She looks visibly aged. It makes her look very distinctive. Vermithor is big enough that he's also showing signs of age like Vagar, though not quite as much. That's how you vary it up within a breed. But still, some of these things need to look close to Drogon because you know, we can't go all out and make things that look like entirely different species. Like, Sea Smoke looks relatively similar to that. Dreamfire, because it's hinted that Dreamfire is the mother of Daenerys' dragons. So, some of these things, they went, they need to look relatively close to Drogon, or the head is a little different, but it's a different breed. For Moondancer, though, even though I can't see a picture of it yet, it says in print here, this is one of those cases like Caraxes where we went off template on purpose. Where we said, let's try to make an interesting design that really stands out. Here is the main quote. Moondancer, the dragon belonging to Daemon's headstrong daughter Bela, presented the artists with an ideal opportunity to break the mold. Although the dragon has relatively little in the way of screen time, glimpsed only in the later episodes. It was never seen in the later episodes that they miscommunicated this. It must have been cut. Concept artist Constantine Cercaris. Moon Dancer is the rock star of the bunch. She's the punk rocker. Uh, her fins on her head and back are more of a mohawk shape. That is, she has this giant fin going down her back. It's like a mohawk. And she has a vibrant green color palette with an intricate pattern design on her skin. I don't think we've seen a dragon with intricate patterning into their scales before. So this is just hinting at it. You know, it's, it's got a mohawk-like uh, fin, and it's got this really cool pattern to the scales. It, it's tantalizing us. But more important to me is that directive. They said Moon Dancer isn't just a smaller version of Sea Smoke or a smaller version of Vermax. Moon Dancer is one of those cases where we intentionally tried to make this really cool-looking, off-template, punk rock-looking dragon that stands out. So, Bela actually got a really unique-looking dragon design, and I look forward to seeing that in Season 2. Now, there was a lot of information in this that I had to go over, so this is going to be like an hour-long video on everything the, the book had to say about dragon designs. I've chopped that up into multiple videos stretching over half an hour. So, please follow me after the jump into the next one where I talk about what we were able to gather about dragon breeds and designs.